There was once a man who lived a normal life, but had slipped away from everyone and everything. Had his mind been broken? Or had he broken free? This is the story of Dag Abbey. Dag is a runner. Not just any runner. He runs 100 mile races through treacherous mountains. If that weren't impressive enough, Dag is 81. He lives in the middle of nowhere. He's somewhat reclusive. On a bus. I mean, he still goes and runs those 100 mile races and, and finishes first in his class. And I'm thinking, I couldn't come close to, to what he does. He's seen thousands of sunrises. In his youth, Dag loved to ski. He was a daredevil. I can remember at sunshine on some of the cliffs, he, he was always leaping over those. Every free moment he had, he was, he was freestyling it. He pretty much invented the freestyle skiing sport. One day, an avalanche happened, and Dag was caught in the middle of it. But Dag outskied it. He kept ahead of the avalanche and managed to outski it to get away safely. There's not very many people can outski those things. And it was a big one. Dag has no phone, no email. Reporters from his area have worked for months to try to locate him. He lives a life as simple as possible. He loves being outside and loves to train. He says that he's perfectly imperfect. Uh, to live as simple as possible, where I can train hard, I can, I can be outside because I love being outside. I can do everything I want. I, I don't think I could ever live in a house. I live in a bus now. I could never live in a house. I couldn't just, yeah, because I don't need much room. I call my place at my lair because I'm, I'm gone all day. I'm perfectly imperfect. Because if you're perfectly imperfect, you always have to work on yourself. You can always try. I, I, what am I saying is, you know, tomorrow I want to be a better person than today. You can always work on yourself. And if you work on yourself, you don't have time to talk or worry about other people. See 